explicit sexual information in our schools as a policy should be banned because what it does is when you show small children or students explicit sexual information and pervert it, it sets off a chemical reaction in their brain called dopamine. Dopamine produces addiction. So you're producing addiction to pornography and some of those young boys will turn into human sexual predators. And that's one of the reasons Senator Lucero's amendment, you should rule in favor of it and we should vote on this. That's a state senator from Minnesota, Glenn Gruenhagen, who has some interesting theories about what they're taught in sex education school. It's not pornography, you big old weirdo. What's with the dopamine? What's with the addiction? It's like stuff about STIs and condoms and everything. But he's worried that if we get into any of that, it's gonna create sex predators. And it turns out that for this guy, fear of sex predators and sex predation is his go-to excuse to oppose anything that he doesn't like. Here he is talking about conversion therapy. On conversion, we need to insert the government into it and prevent the doctor-patient relationship for whatever that is, if the person is struggling with, with some of those uh, uh, behaviors and desires, we want to insert government and say to the counselor or, or to the uh, therapist, you cannot try to, to tell him that what he's doing isn't right. You must reinforce his behavior. And isn't that evil? Oh. To a certain degree, you almost believe you know, that these minors are being groomed for pedophilia. Who knows? In other words, you're trapped in this sexual behavior before uh -huh. you should be, uh -huh. and now we want to ban you from even getting any type of information. And it, there is some concern it could even apply to pastors and people outside. Okay, so if you're taught about sex, you'll turn into a sex predator. If you ban conversion therapy, then that's leading to pedophilia. This guy's got a convenient out for pretty much everything that makes him uncomfortable. But don't worry, he's not anti-LGBTQ. He will assure you he actually has gay friends. Take a look at this. I have gay friends. In fact, my first bill that ever got through the House, the Senate, and Governor Dayton signed, I had a homosexual lobbyist that helped me with that. But I also have former gay friends, okay? Yeah. People have left the lifestyle, right. gotten married and have children. Yep. Yeah, not a lifestyle, you monster. Uh, but anyway, yes, he has gay friends who the government should subject to conversion therapy according to him. So that's a guy who would have you believe that he has a lot of fears about predation and pedophilia. Basically, a lot of people who have these weird things that they want to do. Also, probably unrelated to anything, back in 2014, he opposed an anti-bullying law because it would stop spanking. And he thought that stopping spanking of kids was fascism. Glenn Gruenhauer is very worried about pedophilia and, and perversion, but wants more kids to be spanked by other people. He thinks that they won't turn out right if adults don't get the chance to spank them. But what do I know about perversion? I'm not as uh, as educated as this guy. Anyway, Sharon, that's a lot there. What do you think? What do you think don't of this look guy? At me, I you know I don't I don't know either. Um, I kept thinking and looking and seeing if he resembled another Republican Senate candidate, Todd Aiken. Remember, he said legitimate rape rids the body of any chance of a pregnancy. Where on earth is he getting all of this? What? University, what is there a dissertation out there somewhere? Where are you getting this information? And why are you all over the place? Do you like spanking or not? And I really think <laughs> that you gotta look under the hood. You gotta look under the hood here. People who say these crazy, just all over the map things, um, there's something else going on. And I don't mm -hmm. want to hear about the gay lobbyists who he used to get something through. That's it. Irrelevant. Okay. Yeah. The rest of this is cuckoo. Yeah, uh, at the very least, cuckoo. Um, someone in the chat said, this guy at home, wife, take out the trash, him. But what about the sex predators? Yeah, man, there are some intellectually lazy people. And I get it, you know, thinking and doing stuff is difficult. The issue is that they still want to do stuff. They want to suppress people that they don't like for whatever reason. And um, we can speculate as to exactly why that is. 
When I hear what that guy has said about a variety of different things, I don't know for sure what is going on with him. Um, I don't know if you should check his browser history. I don't know if you should scan his backyard. There is just to me, and I'm not making any specific allegations about anything. The idea that that guy is totally cool <laughs> in every way, I find very hard to believe. That is as that's all I can say. I can't say no more. But it's a little bit weird. And and I will remind you all that while we're having fun at this maniac's expense. This is consequential. He's a Minnesota state senator. Teen pregnancy rates have recently begun to rise once again in Minnesota. You've probably heard about the spread of super gonorrhea and stuff like that. Sex education is important. It protects people. It protects their 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 health. In some cases, their their life, like their ability to live out their life the way that they intended, get an education, get a job, and eventually plan a family. This stuff is very important. And having people like this who have such weird thoughts about every aspect of it, I think is doing a disservice to the kids who de- depend on this sort of thing. Or the people you know, who are facing conversion therapy or whatever. This is serious stuff, even if it's not serious to him. I just wanna read one comment. And, and I will say that as a general rule, I don't necessarily love the casual throwing around of accusations of a person being a part of a group that they're attacking or whatever. But this comment is funny, and so I'm going to read it. Rebel Phoenix said, sounds like he's so far in the closet, he's eating Turkish delight with a witch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the greatest reference. Oh um, again, I don't like the throwing around the accusations. People, because it, it gives people kind of an out. Not every homophobe is a closeted person. There are awful people who are doing it for other reasons too. And they deserve recognition, monsters of a variety of different forms. But anyway, it was a funny comment. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.